again, doing free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures. We've completed basic JavaScript. You can find that on my channel. And we are in ES6, and we are going to prevent object mutation. So we just mutated it in an array in the last challenge, and now we're going to prevent object mutation. Okay, so again, whenever we go through these guys, definitely read all of this, try and understand what it's, what it's trying to tell you. Uh, and then try and complete the challenge. If you get stuck, come back to my video, watch me do it explain it and then go back and try it yourself. Don't code along with this because you will not understand. You have to be able to recall these these things from memory. So in this challenge, uh, as you can see in this function here, we have a constant called math constants and it's an object and it has pi in here. So a reason we would do something like this is because pi is not going to change. It's a constant. And what we can do is we can create a variable with that and this is often a best practice to follow so that whenever we access pi in any of the code, so what this does is not relevant, but whenever we access it, uh, whenever we access pi, instead of just saying, you know, 3.14, which we could incorrectly type out if we're accessing it multiple times, we can just refer to this variable. And if we misspell the variable, for example, if I misspell this, I'm not in VS Code, so it's not going to do it. But you can see even right here, there's a little auto uh, spell check. And it, it's VS Code or whatever editor we're using would know that this is not defined. This is not a valid variable because we misspelled it. And it would catch that error for us. So essentially, what I'm getting at is the reason we would create constants like this when we're doing math or uh, with Redux, the reason we do this is so that if we misspell something, the code knows what it's supposed to be because we have a constant and we're not just typing out the value over and over so that if we made a mistake typing out this 3.14, we wouldn't catch it as, as stupid humans, but the computer would because we're not referencing 3.14, we're referencing a constant that it knows the spelling and it knows it exists in memory. So I hope that made sense, constants. Um, essentially, to summarize everything I just said, we, we do this so that we can reference a variable and the autocomplete will spell check for us rather than just referencing the same value over and over. Uh, if I just said 3.14 here and then 3.14 here, we could misspell that as the code grows and who would catch that? Nobody would because it's not an error at that point. It's just us typing in the wrong thing. It's not technically an error, while misspelling this math constants would be a technical error that the code would catch. Uh, okay, so in this challenge, we're going to use object.freeze to prevent the mathematical constants from changing. You'll need to freeze the mathematical constants object so that no one can alter the value of pi. Okay, so simply to do this, uh, we use object.freeze and we give it the object we want to freeze. So this is pretty simple here. Uh, in this math constants object, we have pi. We just want to freeze this entire object. So we can just say object, capital O, because this is a type reference. So we're referencing the type of object uh, through JavaScript. So this is a built-in method. And we are going to say freeze. And then what object do we want to actually freeze? We want to freeze the math constants. So we can say math constants. And if I misspell this, you'll see once again, even though we're not in uh, VS Code, we get an undefined, we get a reference error here because we're not referencing the correct math constants. This is the exact reason why we would we would create this as a constant is so that we can see, oh, I just mild, misspelled constants. I didn't, you know, I, I don't have to go through my entire code to find the error. Uh, the the code will find it for me because it'll know I'm, I'm misreferencing something. Okay, so read only property to pi. Let's try that. There we go. That's all we had to do was freeze the object. And you can see we're getting a type error here because we are trying to reassign this pi value to 99 here, but it's not going to work. We're going to catch the error and console log it. So that's what that's what this is here. Uh, and then we, we continue, right? So this object is frozen now. It is not able to be manipulated in any way. You may think, oh, it's a constant. It can't be manipulated in any way. But no, it's a constant object. We could still change this value potentially within the object um, because it's still an object. That's the constant part of it. But now it's a frozen object. So it nothing can change in it as a whole. And we'll just get this error if we try to. Okay. So I hope that helped. Hope that made sense. See you guys in the next video.